Alright, this is part one of how to make Vincent Puglisi's pasta. That's right. Okay, so the first thing you can do is turn this crock pot on high. Now, he used to do it in a big pot, but days have changed. I like to cook this usually for about three days. Get some olive oil, put it on the bottom. That way we don't dirty up the pot. And we'll put some, this is, let's see, tomato sauce. Diced tomatoes. You can also use stewed tomatoes if you want. I like to use fresh tomatoes as my favorite. I like to chop up a bunch of those and then cook it down. It looks pink at first. This is crushed tomato. Okay. Some Parmesan. You gotta be careful with this stuff because if you use too much, it'll taste soapy. A lot of people get real carried away, but really, it will taste like soap. Okay. Little sasson's good. He didn't use that, but I like to use it. Gives a little extra to that sauce. Italian seasoning. Now, if you have access to fresh spices, I would definitely do that because it cooked down wonderfully. Okay, basil. Not too much, or it'll taste soapy too, kind of perfumey actually. Parsley. Real green. Garlic. You can use cloves or that, but that's so much quicker and easier. Do that. That's the garlic. It's really good for your heart and your blood. Now, if you want it tangy like Heinz, pepper, and give it that tang. Okay. I don't use a lot of salt in my cooking because people should see how it tastes before they season it with salt and pepper and the other day I was looking for my also ten dollars at the grocery store went to a second hand store one dollar dollar how do you like that so don't waste the money in fact they had about six of those things Okay. Rosemary. Time. Maylee. There's some thyme. Got thyme? Rosemary. 
spices don't last forever so sometimes you'll have to dump them out and get more you can make your own or buy them in bulk the best place to buy them in bulk is a uh, at a Amish store some bay leaf I like the big bay leaves the best but that's all I have and some wine a red wine a dark burgundy a zen anything it will do I'm used to using an also and I don't know where it is right now I don't like these kind because they chew the cork up also, you take it out and put it right back in. So it looks like the little guy. Ooh, okay. There it be. Only one shot, but it chews it up. A bunch of that in there. Make sure there's no glass. Yeah, okay. Put about half a bottle in that bad baby. That'll work. Ooh, it's strong. But that's the best way to make a pasta sauce. And you can freeze this stuff and everything. Ooh. Put this back on there. All right, and then you can cook it up. It's on high right now. And you can cook this for two days or half a day or one day. And then in a little bit, I'm going to saute some onion. And some mushroom and some chops and Italian sausage sweet hot and a little burger and we'll see you in a little bit talk to you later have a great one